Sarah Fleischer. In 1991, I threw out the first pitch at Memorial Stadium on one of our Sky Concert nights, a 98 Rock Sky Concert, July 3rd. The game was a sellout. We're kicking off another 40-minute free ride commercial free from Baltimore's, Baltimore's number one rock and roll radio station, 98 Rock. We're rolling, we're rolling at 153. Classic Bad Company warrants. Sometimes she cries. Rolling Stones, terrifying. And Skid Rose, hey, I remember you. Friday. Happy Friday. We're 98 Rock. 40 minutes free ride. 20th. 1991. Desert Shield turns into Desert Storm in January, and the UN forces are victorious in the Persian Gulf War. Professor Anita Hill accuses Judge Clarence Thomas of sexual harassment. The Soviet Union dissolves. Paul Rubens, better known as Pee Wee Herman, is arrested in a Florida movie theater for indecent exposure. L.A. Law, Coach, China Beach, and Murphy Brown are on the air. And the Silence of the Lambs, Thelma and Louise, JFK, and Terminator 2 Judgment Day are at the movies. Cal Ripken Jr. is named American League MVP. Ock. I got to introduce Kicks at Hammerjacks, and uh, uh, they were huge then. They're probably one of the best bands that ever was, and they pissed their money away on uh, you know what. Now they're uh, you know struggling artists again. It's crazy how things come around like that. But I did meet an underage girl at Hammerjacks that night. I overnight became this star, you know, and the, the underage girls just came up and they attached themselves to me like barnacles on a ship, and then uh, I tried to play it smooth and and uh, take a really hot one out to dinner in Fells Point. And after dinner got started, there was a massive food fight, and she got hit in the face with some clams or something. True story. Again, Sarah Fleischer. By 1991, I had spent 14 years here at 98 Rock. In August of 1991, I appeared on the front cover of the Sun magazine. Stash, who's been at 98 Rock for two years now. We were riding the wave of hair bands, Warrant, Winger, Poison. Everybody was down with hammerjacks. And then all of a sudden, we started playing this new song from Nirvana. And I'm sitting in the studio. It was afternoon drive. I was filling in for Russ. And I had Rob Fahey and some local musicians in. And we were playing a game with a song called, What the Hell Are They Saying? Nirvana. And people were calling up with all kinds of... They were like, what is this crap, man? What is going on? And little did we know that was going to change the landscape of music for the entire decade, if not forever. Morning Guy, Chris Emery. We did broadcasts from the Lady Baltimore. Uh, we uh, did a broadcast of Stash getting married on the Lady Baltimore. McEwen was his uh, best man. We broadcast live on the morning show. I got married August 2nd, 1991 on the 98 Rock Morning Show with Chris, Erica, and Lopez. And it was on the Bay Lady down in the Inner Harbor. It was a public wedding. Lots of 98 Rockers on the boat. My wife was pregnant. And here she is walking down the aisle. And my best man was my longtime brother from another mother, Kirk McEwen. And he had left. And when it came time to do the toast, he didn't want his boss at DC 101 to know that he was on 98 Rock's air that day. So he does the toast in a Jamaican accent. May the love of a thousand candles light the way for a beautiful life, man. It's like, come on, dude, that's the Kirkster. Major albums in 91 include two from Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion 1 and Use Your Illusion 2. Alice in Chains, Facelift, Ozzy Osbourne, No More Tears, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, Van Halen, For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, The Spin Doctors, Pocket Full of Kryptonite, Nirvana, Never Mind, and Metallica's Metallica. Just two hours ago, Allied Air Forces began an attack on military targets in Iraq and Kuwait. 